Beep boop meet morp. It's challenge time again. We are in uh, the old challenge setting and this time we are painting Necrons. Can you paint 1,750 points in a day? Yep, it's what we're dubbing the 9 to 9 challenge. 9 to 9 challenge, Stick baby. around to find out if we actually managed to do this ridiculous thing. Maybe. Maybe not. I guess you'll have to watch. Tenth edition is just around the corner, so get all of your backlog painted in a day seems like a, a normal thing to do. I mean, this isn't even all, my, all of my backlog, but... <laughs> it's, well, it's the whole army, give or yeah. take. This is, this is pretty mental. much a whole army in 12 hours. Yeah, um, it really is. So we're going to be painting from 9 till 9. Um, it is 9 o'clock in the morning right now. Um, we have got 1,750. I've never said 1,750 before. It's 1,750. I'm not American. Um, Points of Necrons, lots of uh, robots around. I think we should probably talk about what's in there. Yeah, so in total to paint today, we have 30 Necron Warriors, five Immortals, five Death Marks, nine Scorpec Destroyers. Is it Scorpec or Scorpeth? I think it's uh, Peck. Scorpec Destroyers. Necron fans, tell us if... The, the crabs, the crab people. Crab people. Six mini crabs, so six scarabs. Um, four Necron overlords. Uh, one big daddy murder crab. Scorpec. Scorpec lord. lord. Um, one catacomb command barge, which you've got right there, actually. I do. Woo! Uh, scoop, scoop. <laughs> then we've got one doom scythe. Yeah, the murder croissant. There the it is. Half a donut. Croissant. Um, three pod racer tomb blades. Uh, one reanimator thing? I yeah, don't the know. War of the Worlds looking thing. I don't like that many. I really like it. I think it's cool, but I think I like War, 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 War of the yeah. Worlds, so that's why. So we're going to get all of that painted today. And there is also... In 12 hours. There's a, uh, a curveball as well, because we there's a Void Dragon. Which yeah. we might... If we make good progress, we might put some paint on him. There may be like a re-up challenge. Depends how well we do. Um, I think with... Next Sonic ones, King, let's go. Sonic... No. <laughs> no! Yeah, I think with Necrons anyway, like they're traditionally a fairly simple it army It should paint. be. They're, especially with two of us. I'm thinking we're going to make a lot of really good progress. I think what we've said is like, if we've got maybe like three hours left and we've really like made amazing progress and we've surged right through it, we'll maybe. bring the Void Dragon to just... We weren't finishing because he needs snazzy highlights yeah. and stuff, but... He does need a really cool paint job. But if like we can he, get like just... I think the idea with this is like battle ready, like ensure that it's as good as it can be, like without fancy pants highlights and super, super cool yeah. stuff. But we're still going OSL, still going um, liquid, yeah, liquid really talent. Sweet, yeah. Liquid talent. We absolutely love that. So, yeah. Tricking grind for anyone that doesn't know. Um, for sure. It, th it's definitely going to help, um, I think, this tricking mm. I don't, I don't use it a great deal, but I think when you're trying to get things out the door quickly, Hmm. It's it is really good. It's mega. Yeah, um, I, I swear by it as a product. Um, absolutely love it. But yeah, I suppose we should probably crack on because there is a lot to paint. Yeah. Oh, just for reference, we're going with the Novok Dynasty. Um, red faces, red panels. Red, whites, blacks, and silvers. Love um, it. Should yeah. be cool. Let's and do it. We're going to have a movie marathon. We haven't decided what we're going to watch yet. Oh, I'd like to watch Digimon again because we were talking about that in the last. <laughs> Um, episode. <laughs> no, really? because we have, I, th I think if we put something on that we've already seen or haven't seen for ages, we'll be like this. Oh. Whereas when we did this for hours and we watched Lord of the Rings, it's like, yeah, I know Frodo's an idiot. Uh, I suppose. What, so we need nostalgia, but when, like not heavily. We watched Pokemon Johoto League. What did you call it? Johoto. You mean Johto? Yeah. You, what did you say? Johoto. I knew you said Johoto. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth is, yeah, we have to watch Johto League now because you got it so painfully wrong. Um, that's, that's on Netflix as well. Is it? It was. We got on a massive tangent here. Let's just stop we paying. Have. Let's pay. <laughs> right, okay, so we are currently half an hour into this challenge. Uh, we have. Uh, 32 warriors, I think it was, rather than the 30 that we yeah, initially the, thought. Yeah, uh, the old kit came with 10 plus 2. Yeah, 10 plus 2. So we've got 32 Necron warriors, which is super, super cool. Um, so we have 31 all dry brushed in our Duncan Rhodes silver of choice. Um, and We're using... 
plate armor by two thin coats. It's great, great paint. I think I'm fully, I'm a full convert to the um, to hit to Duncan's metallic. They cut, they cover so well. Mm. We're just doing a, almost like an overbrush with these, uh, as you can kind of. I think so. Like it begin just, to see. It, um, it just covers the entire miniature really in that sort of like um, partial cover silver which is going to be really great i think it allows enough room for highlights um and then obviously i think next we're going to be running with the red panels on the faces and the um back plates as well so um yeah it, it covers the enough of the miniature that it gives it enough depth i think as well yeah here's um, the two old ones and new ones you can kind of see we've got it's kept a lot of the black underneath so we're not gonna to have to worry too much about shading that silver down obviously the streak and grime is going to Really dull it down. Really dull it down, but it means that we've still got some black shadows, which should should set us up quite nicely. Yeah, I think it'd be great. Hood, 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 hood. An hour update. We're in. It's ten o'clock ish, um, and ish. we have painted nearly all of the Necron warriors. Uh, they're all yeah. silver. We just about nearly finished uh, the red on them. Let's see one of the. Uh, older ones um, looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, stretch, <laughs> stretching right over. Um, but yeah, no, just so far. How, how are you feeling? Good. We're uh, halfway through Star Wars: Revenge of the Sith. We are loving it. It's the best Star Wars ever. Fight me. Um, I am feeling quite confident so far. I think we are going to if we can crack out thirty-two warriors in. An hour. An hour and a half. Well, we've still say. got all of the black details to do on them. And then the OSL as I well. Think... I think, th th that being said, 32 warriors in two hours. We've got 10 hours to do the rest. This is the main bulk. Yeah, we've, we'll make good progress. I think what we'll do is we'll probably do all of the black on them, mm. then pause these and do another one. Oh, we'll do like the death marks and do the death some, marks. Like some scarabs um, and stuff, maybe. Sure, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, Just Kino. in... in we're trying to decide how to do the streaking grind because obviously we don't want to get enamel poisoning. Yeah, if we do it all, doing it all in one go. If we, if we do it all in one go, that might be really insane. I, unless we do, unless we do it in batches. So, for example, I did streak and grime while you're doing OSL. Yeah, we could do. That could work. I feel like if we phase it, we that, can that, make it like a real system. That going. sounds like six o'clock tonight's problem. <laughs> we'll, do, yeah. we'll decide we'll then. Worry about that later. Um, um, yeah, so we'll yeah. we'll finish up. The black details. Um, Hopefully, we'll have. 30. Oh, actually, do we want to do the Antares red on the top of these before we move on to the black? Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, we should do that. Um, just a little red highlight um, on top of the corn red. Just something. Yeah. Unless we go over the streaking ground when that's dried with like a little red highlight to make it. We'll cold. do it. We'll do it on one. See how it looks. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fine. Well, that's our problem, not yours. So don't worry about it. You go and enjoy um, your. Whatever you're doing, painting. Well, don't go away. Well, no, don't. Watch the rest please of don't the go game. away. Don't leave us. That'd be ter what a terrible idea. And also terrible marketing for us. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Stop watching us. Go do something else. Get um, off the toilet. Yeah. Goodness me. Look at us. Um, but cool. And um, yeah, our uh, one in the books. Catch us next time, I guess. So we're just trying to nail all of this red, this corn red over the top of those necrons. The crons. Um, How are you finding it so far? The the red anyway. Do you like? Um, I'm a big corn red fan. Big um, corn red fan. The way it's sitting actually on top of the metals is really really smart. Um, I'll be really interested to see how it sort of resonates at the end, especially with it when it ties them in that green OSL. I think it will look really smart. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm already a big fan. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, chuffed, chuffed, chuffed. Is there any um, models that you're really excited to paint today? The Doom Scythe. The Doom Scythe, the Murder Croissant. Um, and yeah. the Void Dragon. And the Void Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen. Um, yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not banking on it. I'm not, but to be fair, if we make this same progress through all of the other minis, it's absolutely within reach to get some paint on him, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Um, which um, not, might be just nice to have some like something fun to look forward to at the end. Yeah, well, to be fair, this is this is, is, is I'm enjoying. I had this the same with the Seraphon video. 
trying to not paint everything amazingly is actually quite fun. Yeah. Really surge through some of the um, the backlog, don't you? Yeah. But yeah, we'll. Uh, Amazing to see that you're at the beginning of the week. You had um, a, a plastic grey uh, army sat in your cupboard, and now it's all going to be fully painted which and, is, and playable, which is ludicrous, isn't it? Well, this is assuming we complete the challenge. Yeah, we'll complete it. We haven't failed yet. One for one. <laughs> you're only as good as your last result. My last result was a twenty. We we gave ourselves twenty four hours. Yeah, we've cut our well. time in half and painted more miniatures. Yeah, it's totally worth it. Yeah, you'll join us in a uh, eleven o'clock ish update. Eleven ish. Hopefully, we'll have all these done by then. It is. Hour number two ish. Um, we have done all 32 Necron Warriors. Woo! Please focus. Stretch. Focus. Focusing. Yeah, love it so far. So we've got. Um, we did end up going with Antares Red over the Corn Red um, for the uh, panels. Um, I think it really works. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of where we've got to. They look. Mm. They look great, and especially really I, good. I always find this with armies that have like matching schemes like throughout. Obviously, we should do to a degree, but when you have them all on the table together, yeah, they look like great. I think we're gonna pause. We're gonna pause the warriors here purely because I don't want to get us to get to like six o'clock, for example, and then go, oh, we've still got to do one from scratch. Um, yeah, that would suck. I think it'd be nice to get everything to a similar level just to. If we do end, just go well. Okay, at least everything's got paint on it. So um, it's like, I suppose it's a cleaner finish for us yeah, as well. Yeah. Like rather going, oh, I've got to start that one again. Oh, how do we do that? At least you're in the flow. I um, think. So you'll I'm, have seen like shots of us painting them throughout the video. Yeah. I, I think our if next you're phase, following along for uh, the reason. Yeah. If, if you've just jumped in the middle of the video and gone, I'm going to go here, like you're a psychopath or something. Yeah. Um, I think for the next video, uh, for the next video, for the next phase, sorry, I think we're, we're going to do five immortals and death marks. Five, you're, you're having the death marks, aren't you? Because they're cooler. Um, uh, and then three scarabs each. So that should be like a really quick little uh, phase. And then after that, it's just elites and characters, which is large. You say elites and characters, there's still a Doom Scythe and nine score packs. Well, we'll split the score packs, but I think the. The Doom Scythe you wanted. I'm really looking forward to the Doom Scythe. You are, you do that, and I'll crack on with some characters then, because I love. No, I'll say we'll, I'll do. I'll do oh, that no. when you do the barge. Oh yeah. The part the Necron party bus. Oh, see, I'm in. I'm I'm all for that because that'll be really really fun to paint. You're also gonna do the uh, the pod racers because I'm not. A, I, I I really don't like the Tomb Blades. I don't think people do, and I I don't understand yeah. why. I think it's like great. Anakin in a little pod. No. Yeah, I love pod. Speaking racers. of Star Wars, um, Anakin's just gone down the path that Padme can't follow, which is a real shame. Yeah. Because Padme, as everybody knows, it's not a spoiler at this point, um, is actually sad. May and she dies because she's sad, <laughs> which is a real shame. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. I, guess, I guess we'll see. Yeah, what do you want to watch next? By the way, don't know. I don't know whether we carry on with Star Wars or interlace a few different bits. I'll be honest, I can give or take a new hope. You can't say that on the internet. People get really I can. irate like, about it. Look, I, I love most of the Star Wars films. Um, we could just watch Lord of the Rings again, again, all over again. Um, We'll find something. We'll find something. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's try, finding the balance between something that we've already watched. Because mm. if, like, for example, we went back and watched Digimon, I think it would still be painting their Quan Warriors. Because we're like, ah, <laughs> cool. Digimon too. Um, yeah. No. I, well, I mean, we've done. Oh, no, I've Warriors. been rightly informed that it's Johto League, isn't it? It's Johto League, not Johto. Well, like, <laughs> Johto. How you call it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, catch us in another hour where I'm sure we would have painted some more and then finally decide what we're watching next. Catch us in a bit. Cool. So we're currently working through the black details. Um, Phase two. All the 32 warriors are done. Yeah, we've well, done your immortals, am I right? Yeah, I've done the immortals. Um, We've started on the scarabs. We dry brushed the scorepex just because we had some paint left on the dry brush pad thing. Mm. 
Um, so I made a start on them. Yeah, I've done the red and the black on my Immortals. You're coming, we're using, uh, close the pot to show you, so I don't throw it everywhere. Okay. Black Legion. Black Contrast. Legion, there which go. is, to be fair, it's given us a really nice effect with covering up over the... Um, yeah, I'm finding, oh, can you open it again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm finding the contrast paint over like a dry brush silver looks very, very cool. Yeah, it's like a black, it gives black metal effect, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, which obviously fits the theme quite well. Yeah, we're absolutely, we're making really good progress. Um, yeah, I've gone with like yeah. the black hoods um, and the black weapons um, for the death mark. I think they look really cool. Um, but yeah, yeah, absolutely surging through. Um, I think, to be honest, at lunchtime, which would be effectively four hours in, I think by that point. Yeah. Uh, we'll have 32 warriors, five death mark, five immortals, and six scarabs all done, which is such a huge amount of models. Um, so I'm yeah, really they're... chuffed with those, actually. We've definitely, well, we've got the got characters and stuff to go they might take a bit more time um, yeah, i think the bigger ones will definitely take some more time anyway i think the doom scythe i think is going to take you at least two hours to do um, yeah it's just it's a lot of stuff to to block in um yeah you're right but to be fair to be in a position where we've got all of the troops and made a start on all of the elites by lunchtime is, is pretty good going i think yeah smashing um, it so far yeah, and we're watching Step Brothers. We, yeah, we decided Step Brothers. That was that was the uh, next obvious choice. Um, I think the other Star Wars films are good, but no, just no. Yeah, we'll catch you for our lunchtime update. Yeah. Okay, so we are uh, four. Ish, maybe three and a half hours in, something like that. Um, doing pretty well so far. Three, nine to three. nine, twelve, three, three hours in. Yeah, three hours in. So we're smashing it so far. Um, Realise that we've got the curtain open, which is probably why I look insanely bright. Bright man, white man. Um, but yeah, so we've got thirty-two warriors painted. You've finished five immortals. Nearly finished. Five immortals. There's a, there's a tiny bit of red not um, on its thing. I've right? done the five death mark. We've got six scarabs between us. I think considering we've done this much in this short time, um, we've done pretty well to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's oh yeah, of course. Kind of see how they're looking now. They've got the guns blocked in. Obviously there'll be loads death of um, OSN and stuff uh, to bring out the yeah. I think veins in the gun. I don't know what they're... Veins. Minging. Um, yeah, I suppose. I mean, I'm actually, I'm actually quite chuffed with the scarabs. Actually, just like two different colours on them. Yeah, really. They look really cool. Yeah, I'm, really not really, I'm not really keen on scarabs, but I think they look really cool with the uh, red. Red, the red and black. Yeah, very, very cool. We've um, um, made a start on the score packs. Yeah, we decided to do those whilst we were uh, reaching forward, doing things. Um, but yeah, no, they'll be next, I think. Um, and then it seems to be just full speed ahead with the characters yeah, finished ones yeah it'll be interesting did you want to do the streak and grime and the osl at the end for all of them Let's see Let's see how i feel after lunch maybe mm. we'll come back after lunch finish all get all the score packs to the same mm. and then do all this all, all the this batch uh, mm. um streak and grime um yeah i think it's worth doing them in two phases for sure just to help not get enamel poisoning and also not go insane yeah, we're, we're trying to balance out. I think that's what we did really well in our 24 hour challenge. If you haven't watched that, go check that, that out. Um, yeah, please do. Make, uh, make it worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think when we did that, we did that really well that we just went right and do, do this panel. I'm going to do everything on this panel rather mm -hmm. than go and do a batch of red. I think Yeah. that doesn't work so much for these because like you couldn't sit here and just go, and do, I'm going to paint one Necron Warrior for two hours and no. then you go, oh, I've got 30 of them. Um, um, I, I think what's really important is that we've done all the infantry and I think doing... Done all the chaff. Yeah, doing all of the streak and grime and then all of the OSL on the chaff I think will be like a really nice break and I think we can include the score pack in the next wave. Yeah, obviously when we get, if, if we get to the point where we're going to do, um, we're going to do snazzy blades on the score packs as well, give them... Yeah. Red light tapers. Dry. Yeah. yeah, we're off to have some lunch. Yeah, because we need it. We are fed and watered, sufficiently lunched, and we've just finished. 
doing the Antares red highlights on and the white and the white on these yeah, immortals boy. and death marks. Very um, cool. I think they all need a streak and grind bath now. Yeah, we're gonna do these ones. Um, I think we need to break it up. I think if. So long as everything is dry and ready for um, the OSLs a little bit later on, I think yeah. so long as we, we can have like relevant phases, it means that Kieran, when he's eventually doing the airbrushing for the OSL, he can just crack that out and I can carry on street yeah. and grinding the, uh, the other phase. But yeah, I, I think this is a huge amount of models. It's like 32, 42, 48 models that we've done so far. For five hours work. Well, so it's, it's not even five hours. We took an hour for lunch. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, it's pretty good. Two, 12 o'clock was three hours, so two-ish. Blimey. Yeah. Got quite, we, got a lot, we got a lot done. Blimey, all right. It's just the bigger things that are left, so I think they'll be more time consuming, um, but I think it'll be simpler as far as just yeah. working on a single model is concerned, so there's that. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really, really chuffed so far. Um, I think these are gonna look absolutely mega at the end. Yeah, we're gonna cover the table in streaking grime and get enamel poisoning. Yeah boy, <laughs> um, catch us in a moment I suppose. So all of the score packs are now painted, um, they've got all of their base colours in. The liquid talent um, begins. We decided to go against the Antares red again over the top of the red on the score packs because it didn't really show up after the Scrooge Tree and Grime. I think it's because... It's dulled it down a bit, hasn't it? And I think that's fine. Um, but I think if we were going to do it, it could probably do with after the Streak and Grime has died. Uh, died? Dry. Died. <laughs> <laughs> after it's died. Streak and Grime is dead. We're dead. We're super dead. Um, yeah. yeah, so just, as you can see in the in the in this lovely little... Shop, we're uh, just giving it an all over slap about, really. Um, an all round slap about. Slap the score packs around a bit. Um, yeah, made good progress. Um, after this, well, we've got, we've got to obviously, you know, it's wash gonna, them off a bit. Um, yeah, but I think we're gonna let it, we've got to let it dry for a bit as well. Yeah, the other ones are looking really good. Um, I don't know how, this, how well this is going to show up, because I haven't got a light in front of me. Um, nope, not at all. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, no, they're looking good. I think um, obviously we'll see them maybe a little bit towards the end, um, but everything so far, definitely very chuffed with, that's um, for sure. We are about a quarter of the way through Monsters, Inc. <laughs> yeah, we've got a real mishmash of films today. I've actually quite liked it. We've done Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, then we did Step Brothers. Um, and now we're on to Monsters Inc. Yeah, things and pizza is very much on the mind. Lovely stuff, things you love to see. Are you having a Texas barbecue? Well, no, you told me that there was a cheeseburger pizza and I'm just curious, I don't know what that is. I'll allow it, because I, I, I vehemently disagree with the concept of the Texas barbecue pizza. Yes, because you're not a man of culture and you need to broaden your horizons, sir. Um, I would like to know what you'd want to paint next, because I think that's a really important conversation to have at this point. Doing it live. Um, I think maybe we should take an Overlord each next. Or two um, Overlords each. Or, uh, yeah, there's four Overlords. There's actually, four Overlords. Maybe do them. Maybe crack out some characters, because at least that way we've got like a playable force, I suppose. Yeah. It's very infantry heavy, but... I was going to say, to be fair, we've, we the ones up now, I think, are going to be the time sink, but then there's less of them. Yeah. Um, think... That's the hope, is that, you know, we can spend time on them. We've certainly done a lot in the time that we've got. To be fair, to crack out 34, 32, 32 9 score packs, 6 scarab bases, um, to a battle ready standard, it's, yeah, it's, 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 really, it's really good. Um, yeah, it's exciting. It's, it's been really fun actually watching this army come together in the short time we've been It's nice it. to not paint something and have, to, like I said in the Seraphim video, to it not look, have to look amazing. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, the, the Necrons certainly lend themselves to nice, quick paint jobs. Um, yeah, I think given the nature of the the models, oh, excuse me, um, they certainly, yeah, they look they look the part, which is which is wicked. And I think all of this with OSL on the top will just look mega. 
Um, so in answer to the point of this video, can you paint can you paint a, a tenth edition army in a day? Yeah, what, so what, far what, you can. What, so far the prediction is yes. Whether that changes at <laughs> eight o'clock tonight, <laughs> you know, we'll see. Um, I think I think so far I'm feeling really confident. I think with the the characters, I think we can bosh out very very fast as well. Um, I think yeah, I mean they're just following the same infantry style really. Yeah, the uh, the Scorpex, the red on them was very much a time sink. That took a little while, but then there's not 30 of them. Yeah. It just felt like you were spending a lot of time on one, one mini, which mm. was yeah. inevitable, I guess. But yeah, we're gonna let yeah. this dry for 10 minutes or so, then we'll give it a wash off. Okay, so we are towards the end of this streaking grime time. Streaking grime time. And now you've got to take all the grime off it. So explain to the lovely people at home what you're doing. So, so this is how you uh, remove the liquid talent. Um, after you, we've let it dry for about 10 minutes because we, we're going with quite an old style look. Um, yeah, we want it to be like super dingy, grimdark. Like they've been trapped in their tomb world for a, for quite some time. We're wiping pretty much all of it off the blade. It was just easier to then try and go around the blade because the blade's mm. going to be uh, nice and lightsabery a bit yeah and the thing is with liquid talent is that it seeps into the recesses very very nicely um so uh especially when you're first initially painting like whereas like maybe with like an heavy metal standard or any any standard to be fair you have to be quite careful um if you get something in the little nooks and crannies of um of something uh, you don't really have to stress too much because the streak and grind chances are it's probably going to cover it anyway yeah as you can see we'll just, just finish that one we'll just do this one as well um so again, we've got a little cap full of mineral spirits here. I'm just dunking this lovely little makeup sponge, which I'm totally going to put in my excuse partner's. Me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse <laughs> me. I'm going to put this makeup sponge totally back in my partner's makeup kit and see if she smears. <laughs> see if she knows. <laughs> see if she smears speaking speech, speaking see grime. Speaking grime. <laughs> speaking grime all over her face. Speaking grime. Skibbity pop pop. <laughs> um, I totally won't do that. That sounds really mean. Yeah, it is mean. I do. I do excuse like. Me. I do like my partner slightly. Um, yeah, and just it's a case of rubbing it off on um, all of the surfaces here, uh, and because the and because the uh, makeup sponge is wet, it will dilute the streak and grime a little bit, and it will then start to run in the recesses. Um, there is a there is a uh, a fine art to streak and grime. I find is that knowing not to rub too much off. Um, yeah, it's good. you've got to retain some of it as well, which makes it stink in the long run because it's enamel based. Uh, it's kind of smelly. I was going to say, we, um, just for any, any of you that are worried about us getting like enamel poisoning, we do have the door open. <laughs> and joke's on you, I've been doing this for so long already, I'm probably halfway there. You are 99% streaking grime now. Yeah, I really am. I, th I, I caught wind of streaking grime maybe like two years ago and I haven't looked back. It is yeah. a phenomenal product, um, and if you are into uh, grimdark speed painting, let's let's a, let's call it. Um, I don't know of a better way to do it because yeah, it's phenomenal. I, 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 do, it is, it, I do I do I do like how quick it can give you certain effects. Mm. Um, yeah, it's lush. Yeah. Very, very good indeed. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to finish this off um, and then we'll, we'll move on to some characters. Well, we'll probably give you a, there'll probably be an update to follow this when we finished. Oh, well, there might these. be. There um, very much might be. It's, um, it's half past four. So let's do an, uh, an update. We have got another update. Uh, it's four and a half hours remaining of the 12 hour challenge. The nine, nine till nine, 99? 99. 99. Uh, appreciate that however you want, I don't care. Um, with a flake. We have got with a flake and a little Mr. Whippy, maybe. Um, but yeah, so we've gone through 32 Necron Warriors, six Scarabs, five Immortals, five Deathmark, and nine Scorpec Destroyers so far. Uh, this is insane. There is a lot of, there is a lot of stuff here. We've done well. Um, Murder crab. Murder crab. Uh, where's an more? I'm loving these. Yeah, um, these are great. The death marks and the immortals. Focus on them. <laughs> Focus. Kind of see. Yeah. I'll, I'll, we're gonna have a small break now. I'll take some snazzy shots, which I'll put over instead of my horrific attempt to reach there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look really cool. I they still need basing, they still need OSL. I feel like it's going to be the last two hours maybe should be solid OSL, which gives us two and a half hours to really 
push the boat out. I think yeah. for me over the next two hours, I'd love to conquer the characters we've got. So we've split them. We did find out it's actually a little bit more than 1,750 points because we've got three plasma site buddies. I think they're included in the unit price, okay. but these were the ones. Oh, they? That, oh, fair enough. It was these, the Crypto Thralls and the Plasmancer thing guy. I, th I, th I think you nailed that, yeah. Um, There's them and there was another one. Oh yeah, there was another one. This is the exclusive one. The, the one exclusive that's, lord. The one that's like, get off No, it wasn't him. Lord. It was, there was a Royal Warden. Oh, the Royal Warden as well. There's a yeah. Royal Warden as well. This, so, so it turns out this is a harder challenge than we'd actually banked on. Um, but you know what? We'll get it done anyway because we like to party. Yeah, Question aside from what, so in front of me to tackle, we've both gone with two overlords, uh, a crypto thrall, yeah. and a nondescript HQ. So you've got the raw warden, mm. I've got the plasmancer guy. Yeah. Other than that, the last things we've got are the ones that we're probably looking forward to the most, aren't we? Like the doom side. I think so. So who, what are you going to tackle, tackle after you've done your characters? What are the last two? Doom scythe and the big daddy murder crab. Scorpec Lord, Sweet. you've got... I've got three pod racers, a Doom Barge, and a Reanimator thing. The War of the Worlds looking thing. The War of the Worlds looking thing, I think I can crack out like very, very fast. Um, I think yeah, dry really... brushes, we'll, we'll resell that. Um... Yeah, for sure. It'll be super, super quick. Um, I think, yeah, I'm feeling really confident, you know? Famous last words. Nah, it's light work. It's nearly dinner time as well. It is. Oh no, a dinner break! <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, really. Streaking really grime and pizza. We should really end this right now because I want pizza and I want this to finish. We'll sign off with what's your pizza going to be? I've gone with cheeseburger because you gave me the choice. Well, you, well no, it's not that you gave me the choice. <laughs> You're you, allowed to pick your dinner, sir. Yeah, you said um, that the cheeseburger was great and I'd never heard of that on a pizza before. So cheeseburger, I did. I'm in. I'm ha I would allow you to have that one instead of the wrongness of the Texas barbecue. Texas barbecue till I die. Um, Are we yeah. going wings? Yes. Okay, so it's time for another update. Um, so we have got the characters that are all have all been done now. So just going to go over the wardens that are. Oh, who's this guy again? An overlord. There's an Overlord and a Royal uh, Warden. Oh, it's an Overlord and a Royal Warden, sure. Um, so we talk about it quite a lot on the channel. Some of the contrast paints I use for um, the like metallics and stuff. So if I need like a brassy look, maybe I'll go with a Skeleton Horde. Or if I want like maybe more of like a dark weathered gold, I'll go snake bite leather. Um, so we're just going to go with like a quick uh, little view on that. It's literally just fully over um, the uh, metallics. Um, you really don't need to faff around with it either. Like after the streaking grime comes off it, it's going to have that really amazing sheen to it, which is wicked. Um, it's, a genius, I, it's a really quick hack as well. It is. I, th I think it's very hard to get a decent gold paint. I don't know why that is. Um, I feel like most of the, well, to be fair, most of the metallics outside of like um, silver split very easily. Yeah, um, and this just gets like a really smooth coverage. Considering if silver is your best friend, then this is like super, super easy. Super, super easy. Um, but yeah, how are you finding it so far? The yeah, it's challenge? good. I've got. So we've we didn't say actually we've gone over every everything has had the silver dry brush now. Yeah. Partly because we had paint left on the palette, so like, well, we'll just crack out. Might as well just finish it. Um, yeah, so after this contrast paint, I've got the Doom Scythe and the Overlord to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good. I think I think we'll we'll be good, and we kind of have done our update, not in an update, in our, of yeah. our faces. We'll do a proper update with our faces in a second. Yeah. But cool. Yeah, well, that, that is literally how it looks. Waiting for the. There we go. Super super cool, super simple, and it looks wicked. When it dries. See you in a bit. <laughs> So we've another, got another update. It's two and a half hours remaining. Uh, we are making some real progress. All the characters and the little gribbly be, uh, gribbly boys are done. Um, the only one that the only character only characters outstanding. Sorry, is the Doom Barge and the Murder Crab, and then we also have the Reanimator, the, reanimator, the Pod Racers, and the Croissant left. So we yeah. have smashed this so far. We've, um, we've made really good progress. Um, yeah, it's mega actually. I think the my biggest worry now is OSL. That's gonna really take some time. I would like to leave at least 
an hour at the end for OSL. Basing, I can give and take. I can give or take. But yeah, I don't, the, the basing that we wanted to make like a black sand and tomb world, um, mm. which we've got some of. I'm, I'm curious about whether we've got enough to actually do all of the stuff that's here. Yeah, and, I don't um, think we do it at all. But if everything's done and all the OSL is done, I think that counts. When does a Void Dragon enter the fray? It doesn't. <laughs> That was stupid on our part, um, but yeah, yeah. I, I think we still still confident. I am. I think it's the big stuff left, but I think as soon as I'm not we, looking as, forward to doing the red and the black on the cro the croissant. No, I, I tr it's a big area. Truthfully, I think whatever stage we hit, I think um, eight o'clock is cut painting straight to OSL because this is going to take way too long otherwise. Yeah, we've we've had dinner. We have had dinner. We're, we've watched Monsters Inc. Oh, it yeah, got full child with films, didn't we? Yeah, we've really sort of regressed. And what are we watching now? Toy Story. Toy Story, of course. We yeah, just seem to have ended up on a Pixar Pixar kick. Hit. And you know what? It's um, fine. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm really Here's a, uh, a Squawpeck. Squawpeck. Peck. Peck. You can kind of see it a bit better now that the horrible sunlight has gone away. Yeah, one of the, uh, the warden boys. Yeah. <laughs> Meet Morp. Uh, yeah, Keep chuffed. Poop. Super chuffed. Um, yeah, I think it's been fun. Eight, eight o'clock is absolutely the cut off, and then we'll start doing whites and OSL. I feel like if I. It's similar to what we did with the um, last challenge. Like, I'll do the white, you do the OSL, and we'll crack that. Well, we out. did the white with the uh, with the airbrush last time. You did the, like, the really thin white in it afterwards to bring the brightest spots back. So, oh, what no. we did last time was I sprayed white on top of it. Then I did the green or the blue, and then you oh, ran really see. thin white like around the outside, like the bulbs and stuff. Oh, see, for this, what I'd recommend is to do pencil in the white, then you do... Well, the, the trouble is then we don't really get the glowing effect. To be fair, I've got two airbrushes. We can both do... Um, Maybe. We'll the score pack bit, I've just remembered, the uh, score pack blades, they need to be airbrushed and highlighted mm. to make it look sharp. Um, there's nine of them, could, that could... Well, maybe let's do the airbrush for all of them then. Yeah, I think we'll do all the whites, score pack blades, and then... Okay, fine. There's so much to do in such little time. We're gonna yeah, cut we've it done short. so much though. We're gonna cut it short, we're gonna go. Right, so you join us with an hour or so left. An hour how, are we, left. how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, it's like an hour left. This is the last thing we've got to do, so it's the tiny croissant. Um, I'm feeling quite confident. I think it's just the black left, um, and then maybe some gold bits on it as well. Um, but everything else is nearly done, so I think you could probably start on the OSO in a minute while I finish up just the streaking grime. Just doom scythe with a little bit of freehand on the sides there. It's looking awesome. Um, Big Daddy Murder Crab is on the way. We've gone through so much corn red in this challenge, it's insane. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Yeah, everything's looking really, really cool so far, though. Um, yeah, thrilled. The uh, reanimator's on its way. I've just got last bit of streaking grime on these bits. Um, and then it's Scorpec Blades and OSL. Let's do it. We did it. Well, we absolutely sort we of, did it. Sort of. We sort of did it. We were hoisted by uh, streaking grime drying time uh, on a couple we of We really bits. were. We've got some things done. Like, look at that. Look how cool that is. OSL for life, baby. OSL for life. The, I'm very happy with the, the score packs. Um, yeah, the blades on those look amazing. Very, very cool. Who else have we got down here? Cool characters, 
cool characters with cool blades. Although it's not finished, I'm really chuffed with the Doom Scythe. Yeah, that I was did, amazing. I did some freehand on the side. Um, so let's go over everything that we have completed. Um, it's, so, it's Although we haven't finished everything, we have painted an insane amount crazy, of crazy absolutely stuff crazy. in the day. So we've so in, done... In 12 hours, in 12 hours, we have painted and completed... Thir th 32, <laughs> ne 32 Necron Warriors. 32 Necron Warriors. Six Scarabs. Five Immortals. Five Death Marks. Three... Plasma site buddies. Nice. Uh, what are those called? Crypto thralls. Two crypto thralls. And their and the plasma. And sir, I think that's their friend. Sure. Um, yeah. Nine Scorpec destroyers. One overlord. Two overlord. Four overlord. Four overlords. Christ. Um, a royal warden. And uh, who's the get off my yard guy? Is it? That's an overlord. What this? Lord yeah, guy. It's, yeah, it's this guy, the angry, like, get off my property. Yeah, that um, guy. Um, and then we've, and then we've all just the, missed out. All that need, the, it literally just needs OSL. We just couldn't, <sighs> just, just didn't dry in time. Um, yeah. We've got uh, a doom scythe, a murder croissant, a mini command croissant, um, the War of the Worlds looking thing already done. Thick Daddy Murder Crab, which just is so close, but just still wet. So annoying. And um, they, they and the the, and the pod, pod racers, racers, who you've really fallen out with. Yeah, I I really liked them when we started this challenge, and they kept falling apart in my hand, and now I hate them. It's I mean you know what though I th I think they'll be good if they weren't on the flight stands. Flight stands are the bane of everyone in one's life. Um, terrible, terrible things. Yeah, it's a shame to fall with OSL on. The, we were, I, we were so close, so so. I so think close. if it was dry, when I put the airbrush away, we would have just gone. We'll just get it done. Yeah, last ten. Because it would have taken like 10, yeah. 15 minutes. Um, yeah, the blades but, on the the fancy lightsaber people, they need mm -hmm. um, a bit of work on their blades. You want to get them like a nice sharp point. Um, that won't take long at all. That's more like a no. just sit down and glaze. No. There's some reds and oranges in there. Um, really, yeah, it really won't take very long at all. But yeah, we did it. Another challenge in the book. Can you paint an army in a day? Yes. <laughs> just don't did I not, take... Did I not do this one's eyes? Oh, no. No, you didn't. All the other ones are fine. How did I... Maybe he fell apart. We had a, a, a few of the score packs. A few before. casualties. Don't play with his arms because they'll just <laughs> fall apart again. Um, yeah. So yeah, like some more OSL needed just on one one set of eyes that we just missed. Which, when we've painted what 30, 64 Necron Warrior eyes, twenty eyes across the Death Marks, and yeah, there's... although the Death Marks have only got one eye. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of eyes. There's a lot of um, beep, boop, meat morps. Yeah. Yeah, glowy bits going on. Um... We've be both definitely got enamel poisoning. <laughs> yeah, can't fill my lungs, so that's great. We've gone through quite a bit of streaking going, but sh it is what it back is. To, back to the, uh, the, the question for this video, can you paint a new army for 10th edition in a day? Yes. Yes. Just don't eat. Just well, no, don't eat we, anything. If we didn't eat, well, well this we, is, had a, we had an hour break for lunch, which we needed, we would have gone and I reckon we've painted about 1,400 points from start to finish, and the things that didn't dry, because they're quite big, would have I taken don't know, you could, you could, like, for example, if you had, if we had a game tomorrow, I'd absolutely take it all. Oh, this is all tabletop ready for sure. This is yeah. all absolutely done as far as that's concerned. So, yes, I suppose I'm wrong. You can. I, th I, th can. I think, you, oh, it depends on the army. Harlequins, nope. Yeah, that's another thing, actually. We spoke about what could you paint in a day and obviously like we've mentioned before in like um previous challenge ideas like the combat patrol um idea ready for the 10th edition um you, oh, the, you could paint a combat patrol in a day well i easy. think this is answered because we, we i came up with the idea that we would make a combat patrol series mm. um, and we would paint more because you know it's really the whole combat patrol thing is really is really exciting um, so this answers that question. I think we absolutely could. Mm. So I think we will go ahead with the... There's a hat of combat patrols here. Pluck one out. Good grief. Um, <laughs> and then we paint them in a, in, a, in, a, in a day. Have you had fun painting 
the you know what yeah i think when we first started i was like this is a lot of robots um but since we started getting the colors on like the black and the the red and everything really started to, to take shape and then the osl at the end they just make necrons look great yeah yeah it's... but yeah overall quite chuffed um i to be fair no i mean to be fair it wouldn't take us much to take the to like to push them further like no some edge highlights just, and stuff. it just needs like some antares red just relaying on some on some of the red just mm. to punch some of the shoulder pads and like i said the, mm. the score pack blades they need basing as well to be fair we, 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 I would, when we started i was like no we probably won't get basing done because i don't think i've got enough of the tomb world base that i've got left mm. but essentially that's just black sand with little chunks of like green crystals it would look it will it will look really good i'll, mm. I'll order some more um yeah base it all but yeah just look pretty sweet but yeah uh, we'll probably see these in some boarding action reports um, maybe in like a cheeky ninth edition oh maybe not ninth edition that's learning a new army wait for the index cards the 10th yeah. um, but yeah no, these have been wicked fun wicked fun um, but yeah no this has been great and um, I would paint Necrons again maybe if I had more time um, as in we, like, uh, I'd like to take my time on them we, the, we did have another idea with these uh, to do for this challenge was my world eaters army um how would you? How do you think that would have gone? I honestly think we would have failed, and we would have failed hard. Um, it's my, the trim. Yeah, all chaos stuff. The trim is just an absolute killer. Um, the reason I take so long painting my chaos wolves is because I know what it entails. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah. as soon as you mentioned, let's do world eaters in a day, I was like, no, actually, because yeah. that's a terrible idea. Um, but the, the but mad yeah, men that we are um, yeah Necrons is fine and also I think a thousand points in a day fine and I think that's why the combat patrol thing really works that would be fun as well yeah because um, not only that we'd be painting something different each leave a like leave a sub because otherwise we're doing it for nothing and that would be, be insane then we would be ridiculous <laughs> psychopath people well, you're right. we've now got a, a, an army together that's true wholesome we absolutely do wholesome look at this guy um, um, but yeah like sub and if you want Necrons or your own follow our, our element element games link which is just down there somewhere here, here there there are you the element games link no we've gone insane I am, um, I'm the element of the game I am the Warhammer 40,000 let's call it right there thank you very much for watching if you have been watching if not click and watch it now doesn't make sense <laughs> um, yeah I'm going insane I'm there'll be lots of pretty pictures that hopefully they've popped up for this so B-roll hit them boom let, let's, let, let us know what you think um, obviously yeah. if you don't like it please don't tell us <laughs> no tell us because it's taken us a day <laughs> right see you later bye see you later are you ready, kids? Hi, Captain! I can't hear you! I like, like Necrons! <laughs> <laughs> you like tiny red men?